straits here. No, they teleported to Sirath's shop and noticed it was closed and then and walked then to the walk. pleasure ah, treasure. Then my bards would have seen that. Uh, we got kind of surrounded by dwarves, if I recall correctly. Yeah, when we teleported. You got pulled uh, over, rather. Yeah. You got a broken till light. <laughs> <laughs> Who this? What are you doing here? Are you reaching for my gun? <laughs> He's got a gun! Yeah. Alright. Um, yeah, you guys, uh, it's, it's, it's still evening. Guests Most of you are in your quarters. I guess Horace and Wolfram, you're still sitting downstairs. When uh, when the door opens up into the tavern area, and uh, a familiar face steps in, well, at least familiar to Wolfram, I suppose. But not Horace. Or Mac. Or Mac. Who the fuck is Mac? <laughs> <laughs> Dark. Right. Dara, you see Wolfram sitting at the table? Familiar face. I mean, you knew he was here, but... Yeah. Then he hops and then he just walks out. away. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, where, was, where's, where are all the others? I heard you guys were back in town. All righty then. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> to be He's fair, you wouldn't, typing. you wouldn't oh. really know that. What do you mean? You that, joined then? up like two days ago, Wolfram. <laughs> well, maybe it is a long time for him. <laughs> that Wolfram is like a goldfish. He's, he's really clingy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did did uh, did Wolfram not teleport with everyone else? Uh, he no, did. he did. Oh. I, I'm just saying he's only been here for a few more days than you have. That's fun. I, I just, I'm just asking where people are. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, I, I wasn't. No, I've, I've been, I've been setting up my spy network. Uh, Dara, uh, you, uh, probably the party told you this, Wolfram. Dara is uh, or left at Dorian's camp to, to uh, go to Edamantine City to, quote unquote, do some stuff. Yeah. Set up a spy network. Get that amber dragon transported to our um, to our villa. Get the villa oh, you did that. Spruce up. Yeah. Hmm. The amber dragon is now like right in the set, like in the center of our mansion. Like <laughs> as you walk in, it's like right there. I mean, that that that's the instructions you gave anyway. You, you have yeah. 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 And I've I've heard that the scum did it up quite nice. I don't know. I've not been back. We should probably go back. Aren't you the one with the boat? Well, the yes, swan... you actually took the boat with yeah, you when you the went the folding boat. Wait, yeah. which boat? The folding boat. Uh, the box the boat. that turns into a boat. <laughs> the boat that turns back into a boat. Oh yeah, shit. I should probably use that to go. Ah, never mind. Next, we'll keep that for later. So I have the box boat box. Yeah. Yes. Cool box boat you just I'm... asked me to figure out how it works i did and then i gave it back to you sweet um other notes magical items box boat box that's actually extremely convenient so i don't have to keep buying swan tokens because that was getting expensive <laughs> <laughs> swan boat anyway um for your trouble so far, you have been paid about 1,500 gold pieces by the Arcanium. All right. Well, that's that's like a pittance compared to what we've been getting so far, but I'll take Yeah, it's more of a wage, like researcher's assistant. It's still a fuck ton of money for, for anyone not an adventurer. Well, what cook is having an orgasm? Oh, why do you think this place has such a nice taste? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> asleep, right. well, what time of day is it? Evening. 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 Oh. So they're, oh, they they went to bed early then. Oh, I mean, I, I guess they didn't have anything else to do. I mean, they don't have to go to bed right away. Maybe just put their stuff in their room or something. No, I don't right. <clears throat> didn't I, uh, the last time uh, we ended, I went to go to the tower, to the Mega Guild or whatever. Well, you are still sitting at the like bar here. 
Darn it. Overhear the conversation that Wolverham is having with Dara. Uh, I just do nothing because I don't know who Dara is. And Mac is just in the corner being old. Hey! I, I turn and like, hey, hello? Mac like, is probably masturbating to the thing his hero gave him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the, the amul that teal meal gave me. I'm totally ignoring everything around me. <laughs> yeah, just, you're just like, like staring at the fucking amulet. Make a spot check, Dara. Alright. I think spot is one of my like three skills that's garbage. Let me try. I was hoping it was good, but whatever. No, it's my listen. I, I, I can't see shit, but my listen's like 15. Yeah, my spot is literally zero. No, your character does look like he has his eyes closed all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who needs to see when you can hear? Well, Don't natural hear. 20. Uh, from the corner Give of your eye, me. you see something <laughs> glinting, and it uh, appears to be a very fancy looking amulet that Mac is turning over in his hands to study. It's very obviously a magical item, but uh, also there's a strange sort of sense of depleted magic that's around. So it's like a lingering, lingering magical present. Yeah. <clears throat> Finley, uh, I, tell, I tell Finley to walk up to Mac. <laughs> Mac, you see a weasel. Hey, what is it, a weasel? Ferret. Ferret. <laughs> Ferret. You see a ferret walk across the table uh, over to you and he stands there looking at you. Oh, I, I look at look at back. Ah, Jesus. That that sounds horrible. You look uh, at back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I look at the ferret. <clears throat> and I'm like, um, who who might you be, little ferret? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a weasel? Philly jumps on <laughs> <laughs> Who this? <laughs> Finley's now like r rustling around inside Max robes. What? <laughs> Filthy <Okay>. thieves. <laughs> you you uh, now have a ferret uh, sort of jumping into your robe and going all over your body. Well, <laughs> well that's uh, interesting. I would say. I I try right, to get it out. Is all right, I used I used the distraction to grab the amulet. <laughs> wow! Uh, make a slide of hand check. Dude. And uh, Mac, you can make a spot check with a minus four penalty for being distracted. <laughs> Damn it! Oh. <laughs> uh, you see him reach for the amulet and pull it back towards you. Hey, what are you trying to do? Let me let me that skill check. Let me check what the skill check from magical appraisal. And who are you? <laughs> I was like, I just like snapped my finger like dry. I wanted to do that quicker. My name is Daryl O'Shaughnessy. I am the head of magic musical activities at the Arcanium. Good for you. And why are you trying to take my amulet? Because I would like a better look at it, and I don't like asking nicely. It's kind of not dramatic, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it is just it's boring to ask. So I just thought I would... Can I, can I just see that for two seconds? You seem to lack manners, so no, you cannot have a All look right. at it. Let me see what, how long it takes me for magical appraisal, and if that quick <coughs> like, peak would be enough. The lack of manners. Yeah. Um, excuse me, you said you were from the Arcanium. Oh, yes. The, would you happen to know if they are accept, accepting students there, or if they're open at this time? I, I, stick, my ha I stick my arm out so Finley can jump off the man and back onto my arm. <coughs> Finley's but now back in my hat, and I walk back over. It's like... We're always accepting new students because God knows we do not have enough. Ah, then, uh, They're, then we're, they'll be open. We're, we're technically always open, but that's just because Thorazol is incapable of sleep because he saw some pretty fucked up shit about 20 years back. <laughs> ah, uh, 
Did you so see your you mom naked? Right, I can give you the entrance exam right here and now. Do a cantrip. Sure. sure. I cut my hands. I summon. I, uh, I, I guess I turn his um, hat purple. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or, or with prestidigitation. I can't yeah. even do yeah. that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Well, That's unfortunately what for him, my hat is magical and resists enchantment. <laughs> Your poofy oh. hat of flying turns a sort of pink instead of purple. Yeah. Ah. I swapped my poofy hat of flying with my poofy hat of charisma, which sort of gave it back its normal fucking color. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's actually allowed a will check if you if you want to be specific. Yeah. The poofy hat fills so. the will. Yeah. Do I succeed the test? All right. Um, can you do anything more impressive than changing my hat purple? Uh, I summon a fiendish shark in this thing pond. A what? A fiendish you shark. A shark just in the pond. Okay. Double shark. Why? Well, yes, and I can also turn it green. Up. Uh, um, well, that's I, get, okay. I guess you. I, mean, I, I guess you walk outside first. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, well, I walk the, towards the door, the door open, and I yeah. and I point at the pond, <clears throat> and two of them. See, there's up. a fiendish shark in the pond that's way too shallow for it to actually swim, so it's sort of gasping for air. Ah, god damn it! <laughs> oh, right, that's kind of sad. I <laughs> dispel it. Uh, I, I pat him on the back. You remind me of a certain fuck up who is very dead right now. <laughs> I, I'm oh, fairly that's... sure Dara doesn't know that. <laughs> no, I, I do. Uh, spy oh, network. Do? Yeah, spy network. That's very con comforting, I guess. <laughs> yeah. so, uh... Actually, how, how would a spy network know about that when there was nobody in that fucking mountain? By the way, can you just make a spy network? Yeah. Because there are probably spies in the Blessed Treasury and we just came here and well, told Madame Bosom the news. Are you spies? No, as in, I have, I have the leadership feed. I have, well, let me, let me double check how many people I have. He, I have, he is capable 20, of doing that. I, I have 23 people under my command right now. Oh, come on. That, surely that can be true. It no, is. I that's why the leadership is one of the most broken you feats in the game. Work, then. <laughs> I have I have twenty level ones, two level twos, and one level three under my payroll. I mean, they're also bards, but they're like, yeah, I they're have... all bards. But Brian, how many scum do I have under my command? Um, I mean, None. pretty much in an entire village. Suck on that. But it's not like um, <laughs> you can actually, uh, you know, give them orders from where you are and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I took like a whole like week out to do this. Week? Oh my god, such efforts for a small army. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. He could make I, a I call that a company. have his own adventures. All right, can we continue? Yes. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. I'll mute myself oh. again. The the progress will be a little fast. I top Horus. Oh, you're in. If you can make the shark, you're, you're better than half the people currently at the Arcanium. So that that was easy. Yeah, there's this yeah. one monk, and oh. he only, he only knows like five spells. No, it's not, <laughs> not even that. Remember, like all my spies are technically like Arcanium students, so we have just twenty level ones just flooding the fucking Arcanium. So. Wait. How did you know my name? I didn't tell you my name. I, I didn't say ho I didn't say your name, did I? You did. Huh. Uh, okay. Huh. Well, my spies know lots work. of things. <laughs> well, um, go to excuse. Shall we be uh, acquainted then? My name is Horace of our president. Daryl O'Shaughnessy, at your service. I do a bow, a curtsy, or whatever. I tip so, my So, uh, um. Do I get to learn any spells for free, or do I have to like pay for it if I get to the Arcanium? I mean, what kind of what kind of spellcaster are you? I'm a wizard. Ah, all right, yeah. Fucking go for it. 
Uh, we, 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 like we've got spell books for days. Uh, I pull out a piece of paper and I, uh, can you like write your name here and uh, maybe put some words about how I'm accepted so I don't have to do some bullshit when I get there. All right. I, and I, I give him the. Note. I write. I write a letter of recommendation. Take this to Clarence. Thank you. He should uh, help you avoid all the dumb bureaucracy at the beginning. I uh, bid everyone farewell for a bit, and I it's, tell them I'm going to the Arcanian. Really? It's still. Uh, it's still evening, Manestina. We, you haven't slept yet. You do. You do have rooms in this establishment, but um, it's not yet sleepy time, if you will. Uh, will this Clarence person be there, uh, right now? I'm fairly certain he's some kind of slave, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, lovely. I'll, uh... Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I that then. Who is a slave? Clarence. Clarence. Clarence the clerk. Oh. <laughs> no, I... Yeah. I, guess, I, 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 I would call that slave. Yeah, I would call that slavery. <laughs> Poor guy has three jobs to uh, sustain himself. And, and he's uh, somehow, I'm fairly certain he's a magical being. He's worked himself into becoming like a magical creature. He doesn't even know it, but he's at all three places at once constantly. Yes, in the time that Dara has left um, from Dorian's camp to Adamantine, he's been setting up uh, sort of a network for himself of bards that, uh, you know, send intelligence his way. Mm -hmm. Through the power of music. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you get your messages righted in music code, like music notes. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. I leave uh, the pleasure treasure and go to the tower. All right. Do you want to go with him, Dora? Or... Nah, he's good. Um, all right. Horus takes off uh, from the pleasure treasury. Uh, close to midnight i suppose what did the rest of you guys do Wait, it's close to midnight i thought it was like uh evening well yeah but i'm sure it's evening but, but before like... you get to the you know It'll arcadium be around midnight yeah. when you oh okay, okay okay uh what about you guys wolfram mech and manistine and dara what do you guys do i'm i'm just gonna stand and have a drink man like... all right <clears throat> hey I'll, I'll have a drink with you maybe we can discuss about this amulet you're so keen on oh yeah uh, can I uh, tell them that I would? I mean, sorry. I would like to tell the party that uh, I'm gonna meet them at Cirrus in the morning. I guess. Yeah, go on already. Shoo shoo. We don't need you. Uh, yeah. I leave. <laughs> you leave. Uh, I, I say, don't die. <laughs> <laughs> I say, <pull> thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. That's an obvious Adele. All right. Yeah. Where's, right. where, so where's Buzz? I ask. I ask Manu and. No, oh, Manistin also asked. Oh, I'm already in there. Dara. Hmm? Oh, um, that's not that's not a sentence though. So how far have you been able to find out amongst the plane? That's. It... I'm not even sure what that means yet. <laughs> Can you rephrase that? So how far have you been able to find out amongst the plane? <laughs> I, that still doesn't that still doesn't answer my question. I, I think she's trying to ask uh, what have you been able to find out about the world? Uh, oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, there's not really much going on, is there? Well, not from where I've been able to reach. I've only got spies here in Brindenford, in Dagnaris and Ebenston. And my spies in Ebenston haven't been able to report back yet, so it's we don't. I don't know if much more than you do, other than the, the general. Technically, you learned about a very powerful being uh, holding up in the city, waiting for your party. Well, in Evanstone. Mm -hmm. Has my board has reported me back that the Evanstone board? Okay. Apparently, there's some fuck off massive guy in Evanstone, though. I've only just gotten this information via message, two seconds ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, the, the message just played in my head. There's a warlock king drow over there. <laughs> Vlad's there too, isn't he? Yeah, that is Vlad, actually, that I'm talking to. About. So did he... Oh. 
Oh, this Commun is say Vlad. My my guys know it's Vlad. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Vlad did they communicate with you? You you also knew that Vlad was going there because uh, it was reported to Thorzu. Yeah. Well, Vlad's waiting for us. Well, for you. I'm still. I'm gonna stay here. Vlad's waiting for you in Ebonstone, and he's been there for a little while, I think. You guys better get going before he eats somebody. Like, I'm not. I'm not saying he would eat somebody, but you know how vampires are, right? And he's a vampire drunk. So, not there, to be racist. There, there have but... not been any reports of people being slaughtered in their sleeps, at least, so that's good. I'm just saying a vampire drow? Huh? <laughs> it's only a matter of time, really. Uh, Genius has new one sitting in just to watch and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you might play an NPC sometime. I think very loudly. So type. Who's typing very loudly? The new guy. Ah, genius. Yeah, I muted myself. Sorry. All right. Yeah, genius. Just because you're new here doesn't mean you get any fun kind of preferential. Yeah. Oh hi, Ken. <laughs> Welcome back here. I mean, uh... Yeah, we'll we'll work in, we'll work on getting you into the story, Cat. Uh, I just haven't seen you online at all to to discuss stuff. Yeah, cat. Cat, cat, cat. Anyway. anyway. Vampire warlock king, vampire <clears throat> draw. Gonna eat somebody. You guys should probably get over it on. Yeah. <laughs> what? Also, <laughs> no one's answered my question. Where's Buzz? Man! Oh, he was left. Vampire city. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, at the Dorian's camp. And oh. Dorian's camp had well, you should probably know because you have your spy network. Mm. And yeah. Oh, of course. Well, yeah, you were so there. He didn't, but I didn't. So know he that. didn't teleport with you. No. So who did you bring? Uh, Manistina, Wolfram, Horus, and me. You didn't bring yeah. Leonard. Nope. He didn't want to come. Or I, I there was no that. room. <laughs> yeah. You bring, you bring, you bring all these people. You don't bring me nerds. I just hey. like, I just like face a little bit. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Cool. Hey, all I right. didn't want to be the one to break the news to Madam Bosom. <laughs> I was just like, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, just, just, I, I quickly, I quickly s scribble a letter and I just like, and I put it in. I give it to Map. Just take this to him. Well, all right. Well, all right. We'll do. Wait to who? To me. To me, oh, okay. I thought you were writing a letter to Buzz. I was like, no, me. no, it's it's a it's a, <laughs> it, it's a quick sit rap. Right. Yeah. There, 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 there will be such a mean trick to send me a letter and, and just like just to spy me. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Here's another like, Buzz, you're an idiot. All right. And just hands it to Mac. <laughs> yeah. Buzz looks at me. He's like, I can't read. <laughs> But, yeah. Oh, uh, I completely forgot that Buzz can read. Yeah. All right. Anyway, <laughs> can we just, you know. Yeah, this is like, hand, hand, me, hand me the amulet for two seconds. Yeah, yeah. I take out, out my uh, amulet and put it on the table. Cool. I, I, use, I use my magical appraisal skill trick to use, like, to identify it, because I can okay. do that once a day. Uh, it's a it's a very powerful amulet. If it were charged, you can tell that much. It mm -hmm. needs some sort of uh, or or like magical stone set inside the empty sockets of the amulet. Once they oh. are inside and the amulet is charged with a command word, you can activate it and it will do magic that you don't exactly know what it can be. A lot of different things apparently. Do I know like the relative school? It's like, is it like a blast or like an enchantment or something? Well, in fact, um, you sense all of the schools emanating from the amulet. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, universal magic. That's what right. I'm She. Um, I say, don't let this out of your sight ever. <laughs> okay, we'll do. Yeah, never 
literally never let this out of your sight because the last time we had a super like a supremely magical item, someone gave it to the cultists. <laughs> uh, was that Corvus? I mean, I I have heard the stories of this Corvus fella, oh and I I even tried to resurrect him when he died, but you know, no avail. I just. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of convinced he was a cultist the whole time, but that's that's just me. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> okay. All, all, all's well that ends well. You've got you've got this amulet now. You've mm. got this amulet now. Keep it safe. All right. I take the amulet and uh, I put it on my neck. Right. right, it does take up an amulet slot, of course. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> so, so, what was she like, Tiamil? Or was that a dude? I think this one you said it was a chick earlier. Bro. Yeah, it's it's a it's a female elf. Player. Yeah. So, what was she like? Because I need to I need to see her to fix my hand. I flex my robotic finger. Oh, um, <laughs> I might be able to help you with that. Oh, can you? Can you really? Um, I look at him. Can you really? I might be. Oh really? I mean, uh, yeah, Tiamil is a is a very strong cleric, but I know I know a trick or two. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm I'm gonna make sure. <laughs> you, you just bring out a list of spells. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I whip out my book and like, hmm. Why are we looking at like a very edgy elf team? That is Tiamil. Oh. <laughs> I love how dejected that O was. He's just like, I don't care. You don't, you don't happen to have the, the rest of that finger laying somewhere. <laughs> I take I take the my finger pre preserved in a vial of timeless oh. unguent, or whatever the fuck it was called. The ointment that uh, preserves shit through time. And then just put it on the table. Okay. Um, bro, the, the do bartender you... says, "Get that finger off my counter." <laughs> Very unap appetizing to look at, and you see the guy next to you who was pretty drunk already, just barf all over the place. <laughs> yeah, do you? Uh, see, yeah. that's that's what I mean. Come on, take it away. <laughs> do you reckon uh, restoration would help? No. In this case. What, but we... This requires a regeneration spell. Okay. Well, I'll, I'm gonna have to look into it. Not your finger, but into the spell. <laughs> yes, it's a seventh level spell, so you'd be uh, You should be able yeah. to tell um, Dara more about Tiamil and why she's not actually there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, apparently uh, there's some shit going on i wasn't really paying attention you know because she she <laughs> gave she gave me a cold shoulder i was asking her if she could what? you know yeah i mean i was asking her if she uh could help me uh to learn some new cleric stuff and you know if i could be her student and whatnot and mm. uh she said i wasn't you know um you weren't worthy um, well, yeah, kind of. I, I mean, we have God, different gods. We have different we gods. Worshiping the same God. Yeah, that we're worshiping. Oh, that's yeah, that, that's always. And quite, uh, apparently, uh, she's not able to leave her, I guess, domain. That where she mm. is at at the moment. <clears throat> she created right. a pocket dimension. Uh, yeah, the. And she can't uh, leave because she's bound to the. Uh, the, the orbs of endless time. Alright. That she Actually, created. But we With are uh, orbs. free to With those visit orbs, her. She can uh, look into the past, present, and future, although everything in the future is never set in stone. Yeah. I, I look at my mechanical middle finger and I'm just like, hmm. You know what? I think I'm actually getting attached to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I'll, I think I'll keep it this way. Just like a <laughs> good reminder. To be humble and not put ring like fingers. Don't put rings on if you haven't like cast remove curse on them first. 
<laughs> okay. No, not that that would have done anything. A funny oh, story. By the way. Uh, oh, by the way, here, here's a ring. <laughs> would you like this ring? <laughs> I say holding out the cursed ring of sustenance. Um. I uh, cast detect magic on it. It is, it is definitely a magic. A magic ring. Ring. I just told you, it's a ring of sustenance. Oh. You, uh, you oh. know that to be a ring that makes you never grow hungry or thirsty. Yeah, yeah I, I don't trust people I've just met, so I am yeah, just also, gonna have to pass Yeah, also, I mean, on that. he just showed he him a kind told of you finger, and then he yeah. gives you a, tries to give you a yeah, 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 yeah. stupid grin on he his face. He also said a cursed ring of sustenance. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I cast Break Enchantment on the ring. Does that remove the curse, though? Yes. Does it? Okay. It makes it a normal ring. <laughs> okay. You turn uh, the ring into a normal ring, and all magic uh, that was emanating from it just disappears. Sweet. <laughs> I put the now null ring on my mechanical finger. Cool. It sort of rattles it tightens around on a your little bit. <laughs> my, my, my mechanical finger just becomes really fat metal. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's just nothing happening. Uh, it's yeah. just it's re it rolls around a bit on your finger because uh, it's not as thick as a normal finger. Right, I'm gonna take my leave. I have a few things I need to sort before I go to bed. Good to see, you. good to meet you, Mac. Good to see you again, Wolfram, and tell the others I said hi. <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet you. I'll make sure I'll give this letter to Maynard. Manasina, what do you do all this time? <laughs> you sleeping? All right. Uh, Wolfram and Mac, after he leaves, what do you guys do before we hop over to Horus? I'm just gonna go to my room, wherever that is, and uh, pray, and then go to sleep. All right. And Wolfram? Shout you? Sh okay. I mean, everyone sort of. Yay! I mean, toast. They're waiting for you to make a speech. Beer is good. Uh, the bartender <laughs> raises a glass, but he's the only one. The rest just looks confused. Who the fuck is Corvus? <laughs> anyway, they don't it's really an need an excuse a... to drink. Go. They, yeah, I just I was just gonna say they don't really need an excuse to drink, but they still drink with you. I <clears throat> the bartender's finished up cleaning the puke and vomit. Mmm, frothy. Mm. That that okay. sounded like Yoda for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> frothy, this beer is. Uh, well, I mean, almost time skip to tomorrow. We will go to Horus. Horus. Who arrives at the Adamantine Arcanium? Ah, oh, these guys are everywhere. Jesus. Oh, Clarence. Ah. Oh. All right, go ahead and put your guy on there, uh, Horus. Oh, I also gave the Naga who's in the kitchen a name. Nick. <laughs> Nick Naga. Oh shit, Clarence Avatar is very realistic. Handsome. Alright, you uh, guess... step through the front entrance and you see a desk to your right immediately as well as a door and stuff. Clarence, behind the desk, he greets you. Hello? Who are you? Um, hello. I am supposed to uh, find the slave called Clarence. Would you happen to know anyone um, called Clarence? I can assure you, I'm no slave. <laughs> uh, sure. I uh, give him the letter. Um, oh. Hmm. I see. That's very interesting. I see Dara um, recommends you for the Arcanium. Oh, we're getting a lot of students lately. I'm sure Thorazul finds it quite exciting. Um, the, the, letter, the, the letter of recommendation says at the bottom is like, 
he can make sharks, man. Just let him in. <laughs> and he he then reaches the bottom of the ladder and oh oh you can make sharks what I've never heard of that before uh, okay. uh, just just let me end the fucking thing so I can learn spells oh well hold on I really um, don't care we need to bound you to this place first before you can actually go anywhere um any side effect. Oh, hey, I just need some of your blood. Okay, I pull out a dagger out a... and I cut my finger. Well, I mean, he takes out a knife, uh, a very large one, as well as a vial. Oh. And he sees that you already cut your own finger and puts the knife down and then holds the vial so you can sort of fill it with your blood, I guess. Okay. Which you do when he takes the blood from you. Uh, he puts it down and there's a small mark that appears on the, on the palm of your hand. Or the top of your hand. Is that a palm again? Palm is like the underside. The palm is the uh uh fuck out of it. Uh, it oh. doesn't matter. It, and it's it a listen. Yeah, palm of one. your hand, whichever side of your hand that may be. Um and uh, a mark appears and disappears into your skin. It's painless, but you do feel it. <clears throat> and he says, Well, oh, hold on. Um you're you're free to use the library up to the first floor. And um I suppose with the approval of uh, Mr. Thorzu and Mr. Greasebeard, you can go up higher, but I'm afraid they're a bit busy right now. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, would you happen to know anything about magical books? Uh, yes, we have a lot of them. Like very, very rare magical books. I'm sure we have a lot of those too. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to go up um, anywhere, really. <laughs> I'm not magical enough. Okay, so what floor is the library in? <clears throat> ah, first floor. Can't miss it. Okay. Thank you, Slave Clarence. <clears throat> and I I'm not a slave. Whatever you say, Slave Clarence. I uh, go to the library and learn Knock, or try to find the spell Knock. All right, you spent uh, you spent some time finding the spell. Um, go ahead and roll spellcraft. See if you can uh, transcribe it to your own book. I guess I learned it. Successfully learned the spell. I'm not looking up spellcraft. Fucking Mistweavers is lagging. <laughs> All right. I guess I spend eight hours here and sleep on the library for two hours, and All right. that's my thing. And I All leave right. uh, when it's like morning and go to Syrup's place. All right. And I'm done. In that case, we'll pop back to Dorian's camp, where the rest of the crew is hanging out. <clears throat> hey, that's me. I don't mind uh, <sighs> keeping the same music. What the fuck did you do with your wolf there? That's actually quite pretty. I'll, I'll leave it on there because it looks pretty. Well, the bone. The bone and the hearts. It's yeah. pretty. It's cute. I'll leave, I'll leave it. <coughs> so, Mac and Manostina and Wolfram and Horus just disappeared off to Adamantine. What do you guys do? You know what? We, dis we discussed this last session. Yes, I mean, I want to know what more you guys do. It's the next day. What do you guys do? Better? Is the lake still frozen? The lake is like permafrozen. We're fishing then. Uh, you start digging or try to dig a hole in the ice and quickly realize after about 80 feet. No, not 80 feet. Uh, a few feet that, uh, yeah, it's probably frozen all the way to the bottom. No, I didn't. I didn't know such thing, Brian. Very well. <laughs> but you realize that the lake is frozen. Also. Yeah, uh, thank you. Also, that, that was pretty much the end of my cameo, so I'm gonna, like, mute myself and uh, disappear for a bit. Sure. Yeah. You can come back oh. later if you like. Yeah. Anyway. Bye, John. Okay. Bye. Bye, John's mom. Wait. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Ciao. <clears throat>
What cameo did he play? <laughs> Actual character, right? Himself. Oh crap, we came back to us? Okay. What? Is it a cameo? Well, kind of. So, fuck it. Oh, uh, well, I, I did <clears throat> split gold. Maynard, what, what were you doing? Uh, I'm assuming this is the next day, or...? Yep. Yeah. I, I'm just gonna continue working in my tent, doing things. Exciting. Jesus, you guys are no fun at all. You do so? Lidus, what do you do? There are, as of yet, no shops yet in Dorian's uh, small little upcoming village. <clears throat> okay. Mm, there is one particular trader, yeah, but nothing in particular, uh, or not, no, no shop in particular that sells anything specific. Where were we? Time, time machine? Alright, I'll just drink. Maynard seems to be unavailable in his tent. I mean, you can go and see what's up with that. Train with me. <laughs> you can remove that busy from your thing if you want, John. You want to train with me? Yeah, no. Let woman let the man be. He's he's he seems to be uh, when you when you open his tent flap, you see that Walt or uh, Maynard is sort of bottling up the powder that you guys found. Okay, I I get you. <laughs> I was hoping to keep that a secret, <laughs> but fucking Lennis had to ruin it. Oh shit! <clears throat> huh? Couldn't help it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> he actually whispered to me that he was doing that. Yeah. Maynard, Maynard, don't you just hate it when you're doing powder and people just barge in? Right. <laughs> uh, Sit there with the brown sort of stash. I ain't gonna do anything with it currently. But yeah, it's easier to use in smaller out. quantities, so... Not to luck, else. I kind of apologized a little last time, didn't it? Yeah, so I can't complain anymore. I mean, you can always complain, but... Yeah, that's true. I will keep on doing that. <laughs> Man, it would be so handy if you had a mic. Oh, very handy. <laughs> <laughs> Lilith, don't you have a mic or doesn't it work with your internet or something? Uh, they just refuse to use shy. it. Shy. He's shy. Nah, that's, nah, that's alright. If I recall correctly, Lilith doesn't want to use the mic because of role playing purposes. Just like man who's Bullshit. Bullshit. There's a the, uh, question being asked. Yeah, uh, I, I just say yeah, we, sure. Uh, sorry, go on. Yeah, that that was it. Just yeah, sure. I can uh, do that. Remember when we first started out and I had everyone them mute themselves and I was the only one who spoke. Oh man, good times. I'm doing. I'm enjoying the w wonderful sunrise on a mercenary's camp over a frozen lake. I can't even bloody fish in. All right. Um, it's actually a pretty nice sunrise. It, it takes a few more hours than if you were not in the mountains because it has to go over the mountains. But still, it's. You mean nice. that if things aren't in, in front, if things are in front of the sun, I can't see the sun? Thank you, Brian. No, I'm just saying it takes a bit longer for the sun to appear. I, I did the math. 
Yeah, it's, I'm just telling you. Shut up. Please. <laughs> Um, all right. Um, I'll I'll go see if uh, in, uh, if I can find uh, Lilith and uh, Maynard. Okay, you know where. Uh, Realize Maynard's that I can't. I wasn't finished. Um, I'll just go into town and see if there's anything to do for fun. It's not a t- damn town. I know it looks like a town, but it's not quite. I, I mean, the camp. Sorry, jeez. There is, uh, they have started... You don't want to make it look like a town, don't put a chapel in it. Well, sorry, I was just going to get to that, right? Oh, so, gee. there is actually one building uh, being made of stone, uh, which they progressed with quite far, which is that main building over here. Uh, that seems to be sort of the, the more base of operations kind of building, where uh, there's a few sleeping quarters now, um, a place where everyone who works on building shit goes to eat. Uh, things like that. It's very basic, but uh, the, the, the beginnings of something a lot more permanent than just tents. Um, there are now also uh, a quite sturdy walls all around the camp and uh, barricades put in place to stop any avalanches from uh, burying the town. Uh, yeah, right. to the place uh, you described earlier like uh, the most advanced building so to speak mm-hmm. uh, you go there and you see John the guy who uh, sort of gives orders to all the war crews uh, standing around there giving orders to all the war crews hey John hey what, what's up can I help you with something I'm a bit busy you want to help well, I was looking for something fun to do oh well I mean if you think it's fun to help me out, then <laughs> I have plenty of stuff to do for you. Like, we, we could use some more uh, fresh meat. If you're willing to go out there and hunt some stuff for us. Scouts haven't been able to find much wildlife around uh, our camp at the moment. But if you travel a bit further, I'm sure you can find more. Another thing you can help us out with is uh, to actually in the quarry and uh, gather some stone for the buildings. Remember when I said I was looking for something fun? Yeah, and what do you think is fun? <clears throat> fun shit. Buzz, Buzz, let me put it this oh, way. Well, you know you what? go out and swing your axe around like a goddamn berserker with nobody to stop you. And we always need more wood, so if you want, you can do that too. Other than that, I'm not sure if there's anything else I can put you to use in. Thanks, John. Jesus Christ, it's not like I fucking saved you. Fucking well, you can use him as a footstool. Oh. I can use you as a footstool if that's what you prefer. <laughs> sure. Uh, backhand, John. Uh, he steps back quite uh, smoothly. How do you know? <clears throat> he's, got, he's, got, he's put his dodge bonus on you. Yeah, but he still has, I still have to make an attack roll, would not it? He uses his attack of opportunity to step back. What? Oh. There is a right, thing is. is that. That is a legit thing. Yeah, I wonder if now. Buzz wants to become a bunny again. <laughs> He says, oh, whoa, 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 take it easy. I didn't mean to offend you. I was just joking. Well, anyway, some jokes hurt, John. Jeez. I'm, I'm terribly sorry, Master Dwarf. Uh, anyway, if you, I, I, this is all I can give you for work, but um, yeah, sorry. I'm busy. All right. Do you know what? <laughs> How much wood do you fucking need? All you can get or something. Pretty much all, I, uh, all we can get right now. At least in form of some uh, coin? Yeah, of course. Everyone gets uh, paid in some form. What are the... What's you get the 10 thing? silver pieces per tree felled. For one tree? I mean, it's not like we're rich over here, you know? I'll do it for... I'll, I'll do it for 12. <clears throat> I mean, you can do it for all you want, but you're still only getting 10. 
Jesus Christ. All right, I'll tell you what. If you prove yourself to be extremely useful in felling trees, we might be able to talk about a bonus, but uh, I'll need to see you work first, all right? Ellen's accepted, John. <clears throat> all right, well, off you go. I got more stuff to do. Oh, I'll show you more stuff to do. I ax and grumpily walk off to the woods. <laughs> Play like Mudley. Uh, <coughs> you um, you go off to where the some other guys are also chopping trees, and um, they see you approach and they. <laughs> what? What? Why? I uh, they happen to see that you're helping them. You look, you look strong. They've heard stories about you now. Oh, in that case, I don't mind. <laughs> um, uh, Alright, so you start chopping trees alongside those guys. You, you pretty much uh, chop them three times faster than they are. Like some trees you just chop in one swing. Much to uh, the excitement and approval of your co-worker. Bonus income, here I come. Well, uh, I'm not gonna. Please. Uh, Maynard and Lidith, what do you what do you guys do today? I mean, I, I already told you. <laughs> Bottling a ten. <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm bottling up all that fucking gunpowder. Remember? Mm-hmm. Do you remember how much you had? Um, I mean, we have the barrel of it here. Right, okay. Yeah, that you can easily feel like... How many flasks do you have, actually? Uh, probably about five. You fill them all in, like, five minutes, I guess. It would not be that easy to fill five flasks with a delicate substance like that in five minutes. Hey, you could just pretty much scoop I, it up from the barrel. Yeah, but you also got to measure it. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, yeah, it will take some more time if you precisely measure it. How are you? Uh, yeah. How are you measuring it actually? I mean, hmm. mostly by feel, I guess. But at the same time, I know that about this much causes this much because we were sort of messing with it before. Sure. Have you made Sorry. notes to, you know, keep track? Not really. <laughs> All right. You're just doing it on feel. That's cool. Yeah. Very well. Uh, you, you take some time to uh, precisely, according to your feelings, measure. <laughs> the, uh, the I, I never said it was precise, okay? I, I said I was trying to measure. I did say according to your feelings, which kind of yeah. makes it uh, an precise, oxymoron. Yeah. But... yeah. Uh, you do so. And I guess you train with Lidith a while. Hmm? Did you, did you disappear? Anyway, I'll be right back. I, my cousin trying to show me something real quick. Ah, okay. No worries. So, um, yeah, Lidith and Maynard start training. Um, buzz, you're chopping trees for today. Let's just go back to Adamantine City then. Oh, no, no, wait. What? I want to tell everybody. About what? No, it appears that I can recruit like uh, anything I fucking bloody want now. So, um. I'm not quite. You, you don't actually have the leadership feat. I know. If, if it takes someone a week to recruit uh, like a small company, then it's okay to recruit same hour right how are you uh okay let's ask uh, this first how are you going to try and recruit or who are you going to try and recruit oh uh, the lumberjacks <laughs> okay i mean they are very impressed by your work so far so i think about making a startup here <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Oh, my. Back in time because I'm just about to start my wood cutting uh, business. Hey, if you have the coin, they will probably follow you. 
can pay people to to work for you. Isn't that right? <laughs> anyway, um, I pay them uh, a gold if they work for me. A gold for like how long and stuff? General gold. Just general one gold. Yeah, forever. For <laughs> <laughs> um, they're like. Um, well, you do know, Master Dwarf, that if we just fell ten trees, we get one gold as well. And we can do that for a lot longer than... Uh, well, just yeah, one gold. Me, you can get one gold right now. That is nice and all, but... Think about that, did you? So, make a diplomacy check. Oh my god! This guy... <laughs> okay. Fucking love it! Fucking love it! Do it. <clears throat> They're like, yeah, no, no, sorry, uh, Master Dwarf. We, we we prefer to stay with Dorian. The two. guy's got good rep. How about two goals? Huh. <laughs> well, two goals. Hmm. However, no. Three. There's actually one guy who takes up takes you up on the offer. He looks incredibly scrawny, though, so probably he wouldn't even be able to fell one tree, which makes this easy money for him. Out of here. But I want, but I want, um, I want to work for you. What you want? I. Oh. A he democracy. Goes, he goes back to sort of weakly swing at a very thick tree again, and doesn't seem like he's making any progress at all down for him and I'll tell him that's how it's done son now get out of my face mm, yes master dwarf and he, he cries and run, runs off aww right good <laughs> I don't need this in my company which I never really got off the ground anyway <laughs> okay <clears throat> then in that case we will go to um, Adamantine again yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Back to Adamantine. It's now morning. Uh, Horrors, you wake up and... Uh, well, from the dorm room, I guess. And head out to see Seareth. What do the rest of you guys do in the next morning? We go to this... Uh, well, at least I go to the Seareth shop. Because that was the plan all along. All right. <clears throat> Miraculously, you all arrive at Sirath's shop at the same time. To round the corner, you see Horus there walking towards you as well. You're now standing in front of Sirath's shop that has a sign that says open. I walk in. You I walk follow. in. Um, you almost bump into a little kid with blonde hair, um, dragging a full plate armor around. Uh, he, he apologizes to you and sort of runs with the armor in tow uh, around the corner in the back room. You then see uh, Seareth looking up as you guys approach uh, the count standing behind. And she looks at uh, Mac and then the rest of you guys. Like, oh, yes, actually, I did receive a letter from you. Why, why did you send it if you were going to come see me? I know. I know you do. Alright. I'll just let these guys do whatever they're doing first. It is uh, it is nice to see you guys again. Now, I am incredibly busy at the moment, so how can I help you? Yes, yes. Hi, Wolfram. Oh, great. We got two people who type to see us. <coughs> <laughs> I have full the drink as you might ever want, I suppose. Is there anything in particular? And she gets a sly grin again. Only the finest wear for my dear friends. <laughs> <laughs> Right, meanwhile, I'm going to grab a beer. All right. 
Yes, Lita. What's up? <laughs> no, that's going to take ages for you. But, you know, eventually, maybe. You are keeping track of it, which I like. So, yeah, good on you. Uh, right, so uh, Menestina, she looks at you when you uh, say Tiamil. Uh, she's still mad at me. I understand. Look, I tell, I tell you guys did mu this much. She and I, we kind of were an item a long time ago. And, um, well, I, I broke up with her and she never forgave me for it. Wow. I raise my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Damn what? Oh, nothing. Anyway, you met her, I hear. Oh, yes. I read. Yes. She was quite uh, a weird person, I would say. Why do you think I broke up with her? Oh, snap. Anyway, um, while I'm here, I don't even know why I came here, to be honest, but well, <laughs> while I'm here, I have this um, necklace. She stops you. Stop. What is that you're wearing around your neck? I was just getting there. That's the necklace that she gave me, and I was hoping you could tell me something about it. Well, it was used 200 years ago, and it needs to be recharged. I just thought that item was lost. Say, Timu had it? Well, yeah, she gave it to me, and she was all mysterious about it. See, si. well, I do happen to know how to charge it. Oh, you do? I mean, she told me there's these stones that I need. But I have no idea yes. where I can get those stones and what they look like or whatever. Well, I actually had in my possession one of the stones that could be fitted in there, but I fed it to a dragon turtle. I knew it! Aww. I knew it! Well, However, that... <laughs> yeah. there are more stones like that to be found. Um, they originate from the deep Ah, oh, the Indeed. deeps, and I act as if I know something about it. <laughs> Wouldn't sure. you technically know any about it because uh, you know that Maynard took a very, very rare book about that from the Corvus's body, if you recall. Yeah, Maynard has it though, and he hasn't told you. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Nobody's mind. asked about that shit, so I've just held on to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I also have a request that I will type. To you, Ro, in uh, mm, private. Okay. Yeah, I mean, do you like whisper it to her then? Or? No, I'll, I'll just write it on Skype. And also, uh, I asked Siraf is her, uh, if her offer of um, a certain gamble is still on. Of course, it always is. Again, only one gamble per person. I would like to uh, take up on that offer. Very well. Interesting. This is like. Second time this week I can do this now. <laughs> she giggles. Takes out uh, the dice. Puts it on the counter. Now, what would you like to play for? Um, what do you have? Yeah, do you have something useful for, uh, for a cleric like myself? Mm. Oh, uh, just some kobold who wanted the ring of regeneration. I gave him what he wanted. Okay. Well. <laughs> Damn. Um, however, I'm not quite sure what I to offer you. Uh, to be honest, I do dabble more in arcane magic than divines. Yeah. If you can tell me a bit more specific what you're looking for. Um, also, Mr. Steel, the belts are over there. Points uh, towards a wreck with a bunch of belts. Uh, I'm afraid I already gave away the belt that gives you more, uh, or if it makes you feel more powerful, though. Um, I heard you have a uh, certain ring in your possession that summons a warhog from the plains of hell. Do you still have that? Mm, I still have that ring, yeah. 
Uh, can I gamble for that? Uh, certainly. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it, bitch. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you want me to roll? Uh, 2d6. If you roll two ones, you win automatically. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> right. she, she takes off the dice and puts them away again and shoves the ring towards you. You want it fair and square. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. I take a bow. She's she. Holy shit, Juna! <laughs> <clears throat> what the fuck? These well, are actually all snake eyes. Yep. Yeah. Also, um, the the requ uh, request. Hacks. That it I... is right. And she she tells you that no, I'm I'm afraid not. Uh, whatever went into this amulet is way too powerful, even for. No, me. I I mean like not a exact, you know, but like a, a fake one. No, I'm not a jeweler. Okay. Um, do you know any place where I could possibly uh do that? Uh, she sort of... Uh, it's just for the sake of safety, in case someone recognizes that amulet. Right, she uh, she sort of leans over a bit to the left and looks uh, above you and past you through the front door and she says, there's a jewel sh jewelry shop uh, right across the street, actually. Um, can that jeweler be trusted? I don't know. No. Well, that was useful. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just, we, I just wink at her and uh, thank her. And I, and I respond. <laughs> for a jeweler. Oh, there's one of them. Can I trust him? But, oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> there is, <laughs> there is a reason. Cause, yeah. Well, you don't need to know that. Fuck you, Tom. A strength enhancing item, you say, and she sort of taps her chin. I do happen to have a few potions left that might do the brick. Nothing too fancy, though. <laughs> Just a bunch of potions. But you happen to have a scroll of black tentacles. Um, hmm. Very particular request. Let me check my ledger. I'm afraid not, Mr. Steel. Aren't you strong enough? And she winks at you. You know, this is the part where somebody could make a sex joke of some sort, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you have this and this? Um, I'm going to roll a D100 to see if she has the black tentacles. She does have a scroll of black tentacles. The last one she has left. How much is the tentacles? 2,000 gold pieces. What? Holy shit. Uh... You want to roll for it? Well, if I'm going to roll for it, I'd rather have uh, something better than a black tentacle scroll. Um, tell me, uh, what what items do you have that will help for a wizard? Mm, she looks around the shop for a bit. <clears throat> a wizard. Well, I do have a few spare spell books if you're interested in those. They don't come mm. with spells, but... No. What magical items do you have that are unique? Exactly. Unique? Yes. Kind of like the thing he gambled for at point at the dwarf. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I have, to, I have to look up the Google Docs document. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't think they are on the Google Docs. They are on the paste bin and those links are probably dead now. <laughs> Oh shit. I'm sorry. Uh, there was this, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this is out of game, but there was it's this right, flower, no I think. That the the flower had some magical powers. Oh shit, yeah, what was that? There yeah, there's like one particular um, magical. We have some magical item items that are magical? No. A flower that's magical. Swords that are weapons, maybe? <laughs> Um, there's actually one flower left um, in uh, on, underneath uh, what you call those little glass dome things. You know where greenhouse? you can keep things nice under what? A greenhouse? No, but yeah, basically an extremely tiny greenhouse. <laughs> God, Adamanta and City. Um, bus, bus, Dutch. It's a stolp.
Okay. I'll just fucking do this. Uh, oh, I, I, um, uh, oh, do you already know it? No. Oh, yes. Uh, it, I, I, I watch so many cooking shows and I know it's don't know. a glass bell. A bell glass. <laughs> oh, no, I'm good. No. All right, all right, I'm good. Oh, it's gonna that. hunt me for ages. I know this. <clears throat> um, there's a flower suspended in mid-air underneath uh, a, a glass bell. And um, you see that sometimes it, it drops one of its uh, flower petals that then disappear once they reach the bottom. And she says, well, that's the only actual real item I have left that's quite unique. What does it actually do? It's a claw. Well, they say that once you ingest one of those petals, um, it heals all wounds. Oh shit. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, is the uh, petals finite? Or does it grow back? Well, as long as they're not being ingested, um, it just keeps shedding the petal. But once the petals reach a certain distance from the flower, they disappear. I'm not sure if there's a... I'm not sure if there's a finite or infinite amount of petals, though. What do you think, Dwarf? Should I get it? Or so the I'm price alive? is 85,000 gold pieces. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I look at Horace and like, I, I go... I, uh, <laughs> sorry. I go like, take the offer. Do it. Uh, would you like to trade if I win this with the thing you have? Uh, no, I can heal myself. Thank you very much. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want that, but that would be so useful for the party. Uh, well, from the belts that you look at, don't appear to be anything interesting. <clears throat> right. Um, also, there was a magic item that's a horn. You can be annoyed all you want, Manasina, but if I'm talking to one other person, please don't interrupt or try to get your own attention. I can only talk to one person at a time. I will get to you, no worries. Yeah, um, I was saying that there was another item that I remember from the list. Uh, it was a horn that summons, like, uh, ghosts or, you know, memories of old berserkers right. that aid you in in battle. Yeah, that horn is missing. Oh. Shit! Oh, I've been so awesome. <laughs> and we're just, I uh, guess, Dr. Food and Wolf Grandma. I'm going to think. Uh, you want to roll for it? Nah, Do it. I'm still It's thinking. an expensive item, even... Even if you don't if you use it, yeah. if you're Phil, you're going to be in debt for eighty-five thousand. Wow. Ah. Uh, hmm. You can pay it in sexual favors. <laughs> or you could find a loan shark. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, bud. Uh, right. So, do you roll for it or not? Ah, oh, fuck. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. Ah, Do it. shit. Do it. Okay. And uh, she rolls a six and a three, and she goes. To... Well, I lost. You can use the item, but I will call upon you when I need. The. Uh... Until you okay, pay off your debt in full, of course. Mm. Okay, Don't worry, you get the item. Yes, I was slave to your mad woman. Lovely. <laughs> right, Menacina, you um, you ask her if, if she can now help you with your stuff now that you did something for her. And uh, she says, yes, of course, my dear. Now, what is it you needed help with again? <laughs>
Oh, right, in that sense. Um, she goes like, hmm, sure. I suppose I can reduct a little bit. Did you guys tell her about uh, that she has to be in the temple where Tiamat, Tiamil is at? Or no, not yet. No one mentioned Jack. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get back to you on that, man. I don't actually remember how much that lance was. Uh, well, well, I'll have to look it up. I'll I'll tell you though. Uh, she tells you X amount, still quite a bit. Uh, th this is just something I need to figure out. Has anybody told her about Tiamil yet? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Did did anybody tell her that she's gonna have to go over to the fountain? No, I don't think not so. yet. Yeah, I guess. Probably mentioned that. I tell her that. All right. I mean. Yeah, I'm just gonna let all the shopping go first, and then we can get. Back uh, to Wolfram. The yeah. Okay. She doesn't. I mean, she doesn't really know what you could need for an X-wing war mage, so she, she doesn't really know. There's there's some armor that's magical, I suppose. Just normal magic armor. And she can, of course, enchant things for you if you want. That's exactly what I had in mind when I described it to you, uh, Bullet. That's funny. I'm glad you got that. I am right. so fucked if that thing is finite. Uh... I'm, I'm gonna try to look it up. Alright. After the session. Dude, <laughs> pineapple cutting dagger that revives the dog. Nice. So, is there anything else you guys want? Because like I said, I am terribly busy. You, can't you go bother Thorzu or something? I will see if I can visit the Emil, the Emil sometime on my own time. Apparently, she can't leave the typical of her, always letting people come to her. She seems a tad annoyed. I'm gonna be honest, I was annoyed with that shit too. <laughs> oh, Actually, she doesn't have to pass the test. She said that she just opened the portal if the, uh, the lady gets there or some shit. Yeah. Just like for us, we don't have to pass the test anymore. I'm sure there are a lot of other beautiful faces to look at, Miss Steel. Honestly, I'm. Um... Quite and getting annoyed at your advances. So how long am I in debt for? A few thousand years? <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Ah, <clears throat> lovely. Yes, Miss Tina, Ostina, Miss Ost Miss Man Ostina. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Man. Yes, Miss Man. Can I try to roll for the um, knowledge if I know anything about the gem she was talking about earlier? Uh, sure. Knowledge. Uh, arcane? Huh. I know gem shit, Might I as guess. well do it myself. You have heard rumors of stones of great magical power. <laughs> <laughs> and Mac, uh, Mac is like, yeah, I heard about those too. <laughs> yeah. As if I know something. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have anything like that, no, but... Um, actually, it's just uh, out of game. You guys do have something like that right now that you could use for that. I think Maynard had it, though. The two boxes that are linked. Mm -hmm. yeah. And on the next level, I can just teleport us all there, if needed. So it's fine. Uh, question: <laughs> Would you have, would you happen to know, uh, Paul Kamadaj, personally? Paul Kamadaj, that old dog. Yes. I mean, <laughs> <he's still alive. laughs> 
<laughs> Apparently, he's the one who knows about my book. Right. What book is that? The Vital Pact. Right. You know, um, the thing you told me to go to the mountains for so I could find information and end up being in a weird trial to a weird lady who uh, almost got me killed, I guess. You know, that information. Thank you, by the way. I've uh, only heard rumors of Paul Kamala Dodge after the war ended 200 years ago. Um, I think he uh, went away from the Imril region traveled somewhere else in the world, but I wouldn't be able to tell you where exactly. Ah, uh, bummer. Oh, that reminds me, actually. Um, actually, I believe uh, Thorzu and Greasebeard wanted to talk to you guys. Well, not specific mech or... Oh, anything. come on, not more animators. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, you, you guys should probably go uh, check out what he wants. I think it has to do with... Uh, the new mode of transport that he's got ready. Uh, oh shit, it's buggy. Can we see... Can we see the flying ship in the city or no? Oh yeah, it's very obvious that when you look at the Arcanium, there's a ship docked oh. on top of it. Does it have something to do with that flying ship? Yes, that is the mode of transport I was talking about. Hmm, okay. Now... Guys, please get out of my shop. I have things to do. So uh, before we, I leave, uh, do you have any information on how to use this thing? And I uh, tap the glass. Just eat the <laughs> petal. That's so it. they say. What if I die or something? And it's then, poisonous, and not healy. Look, I know that some of my items might have a <laughs> funny little thing happen to you if you use them. <laughs> I'm sure that you won't die. I guarantee it. <laughs> well, if I die, I, I will my money if you here. died. Well, you could sell my ectoplasm or some weird shit. I don't know. All right, get out of my shop right know. now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time, sir. May us uh, meet again. Hmm. You guys leave? Yeah, yep. to the tower. Alright. The guess. sign on the, on the door changes from open to closed, even though it's the middle of the day. Oh. I guess while we're walking to the, uh, towards the tower, I would like to try and taste the flower. Uh, Don't do that I yet. tell Mac, if I die, please revive me. Do you uh, have a, do you have a diamond on you? No. But I can probably get one somehow. Then you probably should get one before you plan on dying. Dad, you uh, can't get a <laughs> Fuck. Uh, but yeah, you, um, if you taste uh, one of the petals, it tastes uh, pretty sweet, like vanilla almost. However, uh, it, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I would like to try to ingest one petal and see if it goes back. Uh, you notice that it doesn't. Oh, fuck me. This is the most expensive fucking piece of shit. You count about 20 petals. Hey, it might grow now. back later. Just not straight away. Uh, Just give it some okay. time. Well, Don't be in such a hurry. Calm your tits, man. <laughs> I am indebted for this item for a few thousand years, so I guess I'm a bit pissed, I guess. Anyway, we'll keep moving. Alright, um, you guys all arrive at the Arcanium after a few hours walking and um, you actually see Thorzu waiting for you at the entrance, He's sort of tapping his foot and looking at a watch that exists. Um, he sees you approach and says, Ah, finally! You guys made it! Right, now, if you'll follow me then, I've got something to show you. Right, everyone here? Alright. There we go. Ah, oh, it's a surprise. Not really. You can see it right up there. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's got a ribbon or anything around it. How heavy is it? Oh, what? The... Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Right. 
So, uh, oh, hey, by the way, you must be the new student. Hello, I am Horace of Osdresden. I know your name is Horace Dresden. Winks at you. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, and, uh, no. <laughs> he, uh, he, um, he goes ahead of you guys up the spiral staircase in the middle of the tower, and you guys follow him. Uh, he starts explaining how uh, Greasebeard and him, uh, as well as Sirath, have managed to make a ship fly. And uh, it's been... <laughs> he, he assures you guys that it's been thoroughly tested now. Um... Yeah, uh, actually, is Dara here? No, no he's not. Alright, that's, that's fine. Also, I will just hang out with Clarence. I won't be following these guys. Okay. Uh, Clarence says, uh, Um, Mr. Um, Mr. Who are you? You can call me Mac. Pleasure to hey, meet you. Mr. Mr. Mac, um, I believe Mr. Thorzo wants you to follow him up there. Got them. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'll just follow, follow them. Whatever. Nice to meet you, Mr. Mac. Nice to meet you too. Oh, that's so nice. That's one of the nicest things I was ever said. You are such a handsome young man. Oh, that's. He starts to that's watch the him. nicest thing a dwarf has ever said to him. That's true too. And not also followed with a hit. <laughs> that gives me a little bit more faith in the dwarven race. He mutters to himself. I kind of feel bad. <laughs> I just follow the guys. <laughs> All right. All right. Do you guys follow uh, Thorazu up the staircase of the of the Adamantine, yes. uh, our Adamantine Arcanium? Uh, eventually, he opens up a door. Um, behind it is a extremely large hangar sort of area. Uh, definitely bigger on the inside, if you will. It's like a TARDIS. Um, inside this huge fucking hangar, um, you see a bunch of people, quite a few actually, like 50 to 100 workers, um, feverishly working to get uh, multiple engines and ships built inside this hangar place. Um, Thorazu uh, leads you across this, uh, this hangar onto the side of the building where you can now see there's a giant ship docked and it looks exactly like this. Wait, can you see it? No. All right, hold on. How about now? Uh, now. Yeah. Yes. Holy shit, that's beautiful. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> um, he starts explaining that in order to uh, make this work at first, they needed to jumpstart the engines with some sort of um, shock or electricity and he uh, he guarantees that this ship Greasebird has now joined you guys that this ship can take you pretty much anywhere in the world as long as you have the fuel cells for it Greasebeard then goes on to tell you guys excitedly that the fuel cells consist of wild magic inside of them uh, which is needed to get something like this up in the air and stay up in uh, it is also capable of just sailing over water Indeed, wild magic, being magic that's, uh, well, wild, really. Uh, very hard to control. Quite volatile. Even. So the how fuel, do you... Uh, the fuel cells that Greasebeard has fashioned uh, should contain these th this wild magic fuel just fine, really. And he shows you um, in the engine room of the ship that you have to replace the fuel cells once, th once they're empty. Uh, he shows you how to do this. Then um, Thorazu and Greasebeard stand next to each other, looking quite proud of themselves, and look at you guys. Well, it's all yours, guys. What's the catch? Well, not nothing really. Uh, you guys have been helping us a lot, and uh, we've got this ship tested now. And we figured that the best way to use the ship right now is to hand it over to some capable individuals who can make the most of it. I have a question. What would happen if the fuel cell ran out while you're in the air? Does the ship plummet down? You would down? plummet to the ground, either crash or die. Yes. Or uh, is, can the ship go invisible? Or Absolutely. Oh, how... no. Know how much magic you need to actually make a size of this ship visible? I mean, smaller ships, yes, it's no problem. Mm. Is it loud? The ship. Is it what? Is the ship loud? Round? Loud. Oh, loud. 
Um, it makes some clanking noise, so it's it's definitely not silent in that sense. Mm. Uh, other than that, it's also being propelled forward, and uh, you'll be able to steer it using uh, the wind itself, which is, you know, oh Jesus Christ, nice. Good job. I should probably uh, favorite that. Yeah, how you do, do that. You... I probably you... hadn't favored it over here. How do you harvest this wild magic to get my fuel cells? Ah, you see, there's only one place right now that we can harvest the wild magic from. You remember that place that you guys uncovered uh, from the ranger fort or near the ranger fort? I'm <laughs> you know the old ruins there. Turns out that all the old ruins um, in that place are infused with wild magic for some reason. We're not quite sure yet why or how, but we are conducting research right now to see if we can find better ways to harvest one. So the only way to gain fuel for this thing is to teleport back to here or to the uh, ranger fort to get more fuel. Yeah, I we've guess. managed to stop the ship up with about 15 fuel cells right now, uh, which should pretty much catch you wherever you need to go in uh, well, at least the Emerald region, or even a few places further down south or west or east, and uh, with enough fuel to get back as well, and some spare even. How long does a fuel cell last? Ah, uh, lasts about <laughs> one fuel cell lasts about mm, let's say a day. Oh, does it use a fuel cell if it's just flying? The, uh, yeah, what's the word? Just in the air, not doing anything. Just uh, yes, uh, actually, the fuel cells are used to keep this thing afloat in the air. But if you put it in the water, then you can turn off the engines that won't be using. Oh, okay. Well, and you can just use it like a normal ship. I assume you know how to sail a normal ship. Uh, no. I don't. Maybe you do. Alright, it's right fine. Uh, Grisbert, yeah? Well, why don't you just travel along with these guys wherever they need to go and uh, come back to me once they've learned how to operate the ship. Alright, boss, that seems like a good plan, actually. I don't want to see it explode or anything. <laughs> uh, does it oh, have shit, any weapons? You want to see it explode? Don't lie to me. <laughs> does it uh, have anything to defend itself? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. Uh, We've only worked on the engine mostly, and uh, the prototype is not battle already, if you will. We are uh, in the process of creating different ki kinds of ship. Um, hopefully, one of them might have some defensive capabilities, but not this one. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay, then. What is the rest of you guys, anyway? Oh, I just teleported everyone with me here. The rest is on Murray and Dorian's account. Oh, I see. You're quite powerful for such a scrawny looking man. Ah, uh, why well, I think he was so poor. I am from House Dresden, after all. Ah, yes. Wink, the wink. Dresden, and he winks at you again. Wink, wink. <laughs> uh, anyway. Will you teach us how to fly this thing then? Right, well, Grisbit will, uh, Grisbit we'll will help you with that. I'm off to do my own things. I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, don't crash and die. I'll be on my way now. And he snaps his fingers and he sort of flies off into the air towards the south. I slap Manostina. Well, I summon a Earth Elemental to slap Manostina because she's wearing a fucking helmet. Okay. So, yeah. You guys slap each other for some reason? I don't know. She started it. <laughs> anyway. I sigh. So Greasebeard uh, gets on board with you guys and says, Right, guys, so where do you want to go? Can't wait to get this puppy up in the air again. Well, technically we are already in the air, but... Where we would we like to go to Dorian's camp in the Dorgul Mountains. Well, near Dorgul Mountains. Dorian is making a camp somewhere? Hmm... Well, it's already made the last time he was there. Oh, I thought he retired. Oh, it'd be nice to see him oh, again. Uh, you should probably know this, but there's a bunch of dragons in that area. They might attack the ship. Oh, there is well, that's, that's not good. Well, I mean, you guys look powerful. I'm sure we can fend off some dragons. 
Uh, 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 I could just, you could just park, uh, station this ship near the sea and I could teleport everyone here. Well, um, whatever you want. I mean, it's your ship now. I, I'm sure well, you want to take it. I'm just a bystander. So, uh, <laughs> he's just an errand boy. <laughs> well, okay, let's I just am... do it. Let's go to the Dorian's camp with this ship. Okay, then. Enough lollygagging. Well, okay. he, uh, the Greasebeard is actually asking where you guys want to go, so you can choose where to go. Main quest wise, you got a fucking map that you got two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anyway, I, should, I think we camp. should regroup. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, all right. So you guys get on board, and with a with a loud noise, the engines roar up. Uh, the propeller in front starts uh, propelling. You know that's what propellers do, and uh, the wind starts drifting you away from the tower before the ship starts to turn to head towards Dorgul Mountain. Um, it actually uh, flies really smoothly. Not uh, not anything like uh, sailing the seas that is uh, that that makes you go seasick and stuff it's very level it's really nice how fast is this uh, ship uh How it's is... quite fast mostly because it can just travel in a straight line uh it, it's going about uh its standard speed flight speed is about 60 feet now grease tells you that it is possible to supercharge uh, the engines uh, with the right bells and what Bells would that be? Anything with the electricity. Hmm. Shock spell. Would it damage the fuel cells in any way? Uh, no. It would just drain it a little bit faster, but you would be able to move twice as fast. Ah. You want to try it out, Mr. Dwarf? You have any electricity spells? Hmm? Sorry. <laughs> uh, what? What did you say? Do you want to try it? Try what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. We are overcharging the fuel cells to make us to make us move faster. Um, uh, how about now? Okay. I, I don't want this no. thing to explode. I mean, I'll be fine, but I don't know about you uh, guys. Greasebeard. Greasebeard is standing next to Wolfram Steel, who's at the helm at the moment, considering he uh, actually said that he is some experience by with steering a ship so so, so um, practically he's now captain steel sounds like a very horrible poor name <laughs> and um yeah grease beard standing next to him with his goggles on and stuff now is there anything you want to do during the flight or can we go to uh, where you guys arrive yeah, can I? I would like to inspect the whole ship so I get familiar uh, familiarity with it. Right. And that's about it. There are exactly ten rooms for crews uh, for crew on the board. On board, um, there's um, a fairly decent sized kitchen with uh, which is stocked up as well. Um, in the time that they tested the ship, brought it back, the rest of the crew uh, who's working in the hangar there have started to decorate the ship on the inside as well. Well, not so much decorated, but they put in rooms and walls and stuff like that. Uh, all the conveniences that you could ask for on a, a pretty luxurious ship is on board. It's basically a floating house, if you will. Uh, I asked you, Spirit, how many how many people <laughs> is minimum to fly the ship? All right, all right, all right. Hold on, Menestina, you uh, you decide to empty your bag of of the blood that uh, that's been accumulating over the over the past oh, months. Oh no. Uh, and, and pour it down the side of the ship. Greasebeard sees you doing this, and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> um, you are past the city at this point, though. You, you can't quite tell where the blood will land, if it will land where. Oh, Maybe God. later there will be stories about uh, one day it rained blood, but you're not quite sure. This is a fucking horrible idea. <laughs> That's pretty. It's, it's fucking disgusting, but I love it. <laughs> Alright, your your bag is now empty of blood at least. 
Ah, uh, I sigh again and shake my head in disbelief. <laughs> this group. Oh, this group. Yeah, I'm not sure if um, I want to get used to this. Um, I asked Grease Beard how many people is needed to fly the ship, or at least the amount of people. Well, you need one to steer, uh, preferably one to, ch to, to keep check of the engine, and maybe one or two people for the sills. Okay. If you're sailing, mm. you're, you're going to probably need a few more people. Uh, it requires a bit more well, mm. careful maneuvering. I'll go check the engines then. All right. Uh, you go into the engine room and you see that there are two sort of transistors in the back uh, that Greasebeard told you if you want to supercharge the ship, that's where you uh, focus your magic. Okay. I guess we can uh, flash forward, I guess. Uh. All right. It actually doesn't take you guys that long to reach the, the mountain. Um, and you can you know that it's only like... Uh, half an hour now before you reach Dorian's camp. Wait, are they actually going to uh, Dorian's camp at the moment? Yep. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, speaking of, back in Dorian's camp, go to Everyone who's there is suddenly um, being put on alert. There's a horn blowing, uh, sort of like an alarm horn, if you will. And you hear people shouting and pointing in the skies. And when you guys yeah. look where they're pointing, they're pointing east. You see, to your amazement, the ship floating, flying in the air. Nice. It's floating over the mountaintops and coming closer. There's no signs of dragons, though. <laughs> I move to the front of the ship, on the deck. All right. And what I will be doing is that one, once we are close enough and still in the air, I will jump down. <laughs> okay. Wolfram, you magically enhance your voice and you shout, Oh, there, matey! And, um... It, it it definitely gets picked up by the people who know your voice. So Maynard and Lidith and Buzz, you guys hear Wolfram shouting that, and then you see a figure jumping off from the bow of the ship. The ship starts to descend as well as it gets close to Dorian's camp. Yeah, I have the ring of feather falling, so I will gracefully float to the camp. I figured something like that. I, I assumed you didn't kill your. <laughs> Ha! Showboating. Ha! Yeah, I hope you liked that pun. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you for being here, Buzz. Yeah. Alright, Manistina and um, Wolfram are now become visible to the guys below. The ship sort of hovers above the lake. And, um, there's um, a rope ladder being tossed down by Greasebeard. He starts climbing down. What do uh, what do you guys do, Wolfram and uh, Horus and Menacing? I try to get off the ship, I guess, towards the uh, find the party. Uh Greasebeard responds, uh, "Well, I mean, it's very hard to create those fuel cells. So if you get close to running out of them, I recommend being close to us, Metamentine, or in a dig site near the Ranger Forge, so we can stock you up again." But yeah, it's going to take a lot of time to create the uh, to create more fuel cells. This is the best we could do in a week. How many fuel cells can you make in a day? Oh, uh, if you can if you can create fifteen in a week, do the math. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Basically, uh, an untapped source of wild magic. <laughs> Brian. Mm-hmm. Trees that I chop. 
<laughs> At this point, you drop like 35 trees, leaving no work for the other lumberjacks. Suckers. No, well, I don't need them for my company. I'll just start my own company. Right. And I'll you, be a uh, ZZ beer. You get paid a shit ton of silver. <clears throat> it's quite heavy. Uh, they actually just give you a chest filled with silver, a small chest. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, I missed that. Sorry. Uh, he, they give you a small chest filled with silver coins. Um, you, there you are 500 and 550 silver coins in the chest. There's no gold. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a fucking burden, isn't it? Uh, kind of. But it's also a bonus. You got a bonus for it. It's still 50 gold. I know that, but... Okay. Shit. Um, Brian? Is this somewhere? What? Can I exchange this somewhere? You, you uh, take it somewhere? Exchange. Yeah. To gold okay. or oh, platinum. Well, I mean, maybe a bank, but you, you do know that there's no bank here in town. During... Uh... Maybe if you wait a few months and this becomes an actual town, then... <laughs> Good luck. The Gold Leaf Bank is a uh, franchise that you happen to know exists in most of the major cities anyway. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I guess uh... I try to find Maynard. Yeah, Maynard, um, you too see this airship uh, arrive. What's your reaction to all this? If he's actually there. I don't think Maynard is actually there. Oh, I was, uh, I was muted. Uh, <laughs> my bad. By the way, bro, also, Brian, my, my reaction is, God Shut up, Tom. Beard. Oh, I'm oh, oh, sorry. I didn't... We're with Maynard right now. Yeah. Jesus. That, that was my reaction, though. Just, damn it, Greasebeard. <laughs> okay. I, I've still got his fucking ever ever freezing torch or whatever the fuck it is. Right. I gotta ask him how to put that thing away. Yes, yeah, I just want to say, like, not causing pollution. If anything, he's causing avalanche danger. By chopping off trees near a frozen lake. <laughs> well, okay, maybe not near the frozen, but yeah, 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 you know. I, uh... Anywho, um, the ship has now arrived near Dorian's camp, and you see the crew, uh, your your old party members who went to Adamantine City, disembark. Um, as the rest of them hit the ice lake, um, Mac then finally touched down because he was he was slower than the ship. And you guys are all reunited. Um, Brian. Yeah. I've got a plan, though. Um, I'm before we all meet up. I'm uh, going real quick, snap along uh, along the blacksmiths. Yeah. How many are there? Still three. And they each get two hundred. Uh, I mean. Divide 500. Mm. They, I, I give them all um, and 25 silver pieces. All right. Uh, they, they are extremely grateful, but they're not sure why you gave them uh, this. They, they both look at you, or they all look at you like, "Oh, uh, dude, what? What? Um, thank you, but why?" Well, I don't want to drag this chest with me all the time, you know. No. Oh, what? Seems like a first world problem, but okay. I mean, sure. I mean, your, your money will be put to good use. You know what? And invest the rest of this 125 other uh, silver pieces in the shop. A two percent return. What? What shop? Blacksmith, right? Well, yeah, but we're not really a shop. We're, we're we're making tools and things for building up the town. Really, <laughs> we're we're being paid by a Dorian. <laughs> They're not okay, running it, a business it, there. They're contractors, man. I, I, I don't know. Just give 
They're a non profit. I don't want to drag this bullshit around all the time. Just give them That's... the silver. I right, tell you what, though. Um, if you, you're you interested, we are getting uh, we are getting a new blacksmith joining our ranks who seems to be more familiar with uh, uh, metallurgy involving more precious oh, uh, metals. The, the, the dark iron ingot shit I got. Um, yeah, I'm sure that he could do something with that as well. Uh, I heard that uh, they actually studied under Shuma. Hey, Shuma, wait. Is it going to be the grandson? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Right. Yeah. Throwback, what? Oh, anyway, I'm giving away this this chest of silver pieces. I don't want to drag it around. All right. Uh... One of the guys says, uh, look, uh, I, the guy that's coming can make you like, uh, I don't know, a silver weapon out of that if you want. <laughs> we don't really need so much silver, but, uh, yeah. S smelt it for all I care. Hey, smelt it down, make some silver weapons. You never Maybe. know when you got to deal with a werewolf the or something. Julie Smith or something? Gem crafter. Right. Manistina asks Maynard, "What's next?" Oh, go, go, oh, we stopped with my guard. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Was there was there anything more? About oh yeah. Did you get your sword back? The one with the with the gem on it, with the opal on it. Oh yes, you do. Once you get back there, you get the sword with the gem, or the axe with the gem. What was it? Yeah, I. Oh, Which one was it? And an opal. Yeah. I didn't have my ex with me. Come, oh, no, I did. Yeah, I think you put it like on a sword. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I put it on a sword. That's that's true. We put it on a sword pommel. Right. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. You know, have a sort of a fancy sword with a fancy pommel. Fancy pommel sword. Hmm. You know what, Brian? Mm-hmm. Just invest the 500 silver pieces I earned by cutting wood, apparently, um, into the into the blacksmithing business. There is no um, business. Uh, that's fine. I mean, they, they did try to tell you that they were non-profit, but you're not sure what that means. So you just heard profit. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, I don't want to. So me, you mean like uh, to buy materials yeah. and? better tools and whatnot yeah they have to invest it into make into making dorian's camp better that right. sounds good right. that, that's no problem they, they nod and respect you for it also who are you and what have you no, done to buzz no, don't judge me <laughs> mm -mm. i need to take a piss real quick okay all right. take, take a piss so i can fucking school Malastina for a bit or oh uh, by the way, where are you, Maynard, on the uh, Dorian's camp? Uh, somewhere. Mm, he's <laughs> somewhere in a hut. I kind of want to. Think... I, I kind of want to um find you and show off the ring that I got. It's on the map. Well, Manastina seems to have magically found me somehow. So I guess follow her. No, he's not on the map. Okay. I mean, I didn't even say I moved anywhere. I just said I I looked out of my tent. And I'm like, damn it, Grease Beard! <laughs> Are you shaking your fist like, damn it? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Man, Manasina somehow like just magically found me. She has a good nose. <laughs> that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, though. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem our party has. They try to jump straight to this or that without yeah. going through the in-between yeah. steps. Yeah. I'm sorry, we do what? Exactly. You know that part where yeah, you're actually supposed to question. find me? <laughs> <laughs> Come back. Welcome back. <clears throat> Thank you. Welcome back. So how many days did it take us to get here? Uh, just one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no need to travel through snow or hills or mountains or anything. Yep. For, um, Lidith, uh, walks up to me just, like, shaking my fist. 
<laughs> towards the uh, towards the airship. <laughs> and um, and Brian, by the way, after I did my charity deed, I'll. By the way. You will what? I think you said that after he does the investing, it goes to the airship. All right. That's correct. Yeah, so I, I will also. Did you guys hear me properly, or am I breaking up a little? You're cutting out uh, at the last part. For me, at least. You well, I'll say. try to um, talk more straight into the microphone or something. Did you do that? It's, it's okay. It's okay. We, 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 gen we generally hear you enough. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to find Maynard. Okay. I go. Uh, she's there. Okay. Yeah. That's I, it? I guess. That's all? Yeah. Okay. I, I said I go over to the airship. So okay. that was the in-between step. Right. All right. Um, as I see you, yeah. uh, I go to my pocket and take out a letter and hand it over to you. Uh, okay, I take the letter and read it, I guess. It's a letter from Dara! Oh my god, I didn't expect that! <laughs> it says you're an idiot! Oh wait, no, that was for Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I'm actually not sure what he put in the letter. It would be nice if he was here now. Oh god damn it. Uh, it's something along the lines of... Bleh. Shit's actually... good! Actually, he said what was in the letter that uh, Vladimir Smirnov is in Evanstone, that we should go there, and that uh, shit was the last. His day. spies are there to give us yeah, something. Uh, right. He tells you that uh, in his letter, he tells you that his uh, network of Bart spies uh, are keeping an eye on some sort of vampire king, warlock, drow thing, whatever you want to put it, whatever. Um, in, in Evanstone, and it seems like this uh, this drow is, at least for now, uh, behaving nice. himself and just yeah. pretty much waiting for you guys to arrive. Yeah. <clears throat> that was honestly our next stop anyway. That's on our way over to the Broken Isles, so. Unless know, we right? had anything else to do in the mountains. There's actually uh, there's actually a phrase that... Uh... Anyway, that's, that's not the young person. Talking about, talking also, about I, I take out the <clears throat> ring. That I got from Sirath, and I show it to Maynard, and I go like, okay. "Look what I got!" And I put it on my finger. You recognize the ring, but uh, you you brace yourself, except it doesn't seem to be doing it. Wait, no, that's a different ring. Never, no, that, that's the ring. Yeah, Dara, with, Dara still has that. That summons the the fire warhog from hell. Right. Yeah. It, it looks like a nice ring. Do you actually use it? Yeah. Uh, I'll uh, see what it does. Uh, what kind of pig or whatever comes out of it all right so the ring heats up immensely uh it deals you five fire damage uh, when you activate it oh shit a small portal like a very small portal actually appears right in front of you and heat emanates from it and suddenly a cute tiny war pig just jumps out snorting around and it <laughs> oh shit <laughs> That's my pig! That's mine! You got that from Sarah, didn't you? Yes, I did. How did you know? <laughs> uh, Buzz got a similar belt. It made his beard grow exponentially. Oh. I'm sorry? That sounds Your like belt. a cool thing for a dwarf. Uh, there's also a small saddle on the back of the war pig. Oh, that's so cute. What happened with a belt? Your belt that caused your beard to grow that we uncursed. I'm so sad you uncursed that belt. I mean, it was that or have us cutting his beard all the time. Yeah. Like, as, as much as the joke could have gone on, it would have also worn thin. Manistina, uh, roll a deck save. Well. Uh, sorry, reflex. <laughs> Are the only ones in the ship still Greasebeard and me? Greasebeard's actually run off into the camp in search of Dorian. Okay, I guess I'm the only one at the ship. Well, pretty much everyone else is standing at the ship. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, man. Uh, man, yeah. you take one fire damage as the flames lick around your hands. It, it squeals. <laughs> it doesn't like being picked up. <clears throat> no, you take actually one damage. I already calculated your fire is. Damn. Put it down. That's my pig. <laughs> now for every round you keep holding it, it deals more damage. This time you take three fire damage. Oh, shit. <laughs> Feel your armor getting hotter and hotter as you hold the pig close to your Can chest. Can I try to acknowledge it? Can I even see it? You can acknowledge, kind of... you can acknowledge planes it, yes. Hmm, that's not bad. You think this is uh, actually an immature version of uh, a fiery warhog that thrives on the, the infernal plane. Ah. But you don't can know I, much else about it. Can I try to calm it down in Inferno? You can try to talk to it. Uh, I try to calm it somehow. Can I just roll a diplomacy or something? Sure. Uh, yeah, you, you slide the pig across the frozen lake and he slides across the... <laughs> He manages to get up and he, and he runs towards um, he runs towards Mac and just Aww. stands beside him, looking around like. <laughs> Who's a good piggy? <laughs> I you see a steam food. sort of rising from the frozen leg as his feet are slightly melting. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Oh no, yeah, we have a dire wolf. There is actually a bacon smell coming off this guy. <laughs> it is a pig that's on fire perpetually. I guess yeah. since I see them near the ship, I try to go towards them and explain what the fuck is uh, with the ship and the uh, the engines and shit. Are you scared? They, you, yeah. uh, you inform the guys about how the ship works and stuff. Um, Greasebeard still hasn't returned, though. I mean, I'll wait. I don't know where he ran off to, and I'll probably miss him if I try to leave. All right, after after a few minutes, you see Greasebeard and, uh, and Dorian heartily laughing and walking side by side towards the ship, high-fiving about something you don't know what. And uh, Dorian then says goodbye to Greasebeard and Greasebeard the same. They gave each other one last uh, bro hug and uh, they, they, they they say goodbye to each other. And, and Greasebeard follows you guys. There's there's he's got, he's got a little bit of watery eyes, but there's a big smile on his face. Aww. <clears throat> All right, you guys ready to go? I mean, uh, do you guys know how to work the ship now? Can I just, you know, go? Uh, uh, but before you go, uh, I, I have something. I have uh, something I some? think you made. Right? Uh, I, I pull out the ever-freezing torch that was in my handy haversack inside the bag of holding to prevent it from freezing anything. Holy shit! You found that? Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't even remember when I lost that one. Uh, nice. I, I don't know, were you ever in the mountain at some point? No, man. I, it was, I actually lost it, uh, like, 25 years ago or something. Was it stolen? Well, dun, dun, dun. And I found it on their corpse. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Hmm, that's fortunate. Well, you can keep it if you want. Uh, do you know how to turn it off or otherwise make it so it doesn't freeze everything? Well, you see, that was kind of an issue that I had with it at the time. <laughs> hmm. I can't turn it off. I'm sorry. <laughs> Try put it on the pig know. and see what happens. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I'm I just would... kidding. I, I want to try something that's kind of close to that. I summon a fire elemental and I ask Mana to try to uh, touch summon... tips with the fire elemental. <laughs> I, I poke the fire elemental with the uh, torch. All right. Frost immediately starts to spread around the fire elemental who squeals and uh, kind of, well, not really squeals, rumbles. I dispel it before it freezes. Alright, uh, it was starting to freeze though. 
Okay, so okay. that's a pretty Jesus powerful... Jesus Christ, man! Yeah. Uh, Greasebeard is like, yeah, uh, did I mention that uh, it can actually stop any fire? Jesus. You what what level of spell is that? Them. Holy well, shit. Well, technically, I only helped with the design. It was kind of someone else who did the magic around it. Okay, I kind what? of want to meet that person. Strong ass magic. It would have been a pretty high level wizard or sorcerer or something. Well, I don't really want to talk about it. Was it Sirath? <laughs> no, not that bitch. No. What? Well, uh, so Sorry. again, you she's a partner. Yeah. Shouldn't talk about my partners like that. Uh, wow. She's all right. Uh, what? She's <laughs> left with everyone. <laughs> She's like Moxie from Borderland. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Anyway, yeah. Oh Let's yeah. Now that you uh, now that you think of that wolf rem, uh, you actually see carved in the side or not carved, uh, painted on the side, Sky Ranger. Um, Sky Ranger. It turns out it was named by someone before. Uh, Greasebeard sees you looking at the name. Oh right, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, the the crew that tested the ship uh, named it the Sky Ranger. Uh, feel oh, free yeah. to name it whatever you want, though. Here. That's, that's fine. Now, is there anything else you guys need from me, or can I just... Uh... Uh, how, um... Shit. When can I teleport to you guys uh, for the next fuel, uh, thing? Getting the fuels. Getting more once, fuel. Once you start running out of fuel, I guess? Hmm. Okay. Uh, do you guys have a better way of transporting the fuel than uh, just going there? I'm afraid not. Hey, nudge! Wink, wink! Nudge, nudge! Box that teleports things to you! you wink, you mean the wink. thing that's really small? We can probably put something in there, can't you? Uh, the fuel cells are... How do I describe? They're like cylindrical shaped. Um, they're about a foot long and uh, a third of a foot wide. Yeah, I think that's too big to fit in the box. Uh, I guess I'll just teleport there in and out. Should be easy. Alright. Omnibus? That's funny. I guess I'll just be teleporting in the, the ship. Like, uh,. I mean, yeah, if you guys have, uh, if you guys have capability of doing so, that would be very convenient. Again, I don't know why uh, you would need a ship then, though, but whatever. How much uh, would the fuel cost, by the way? Oh, well, considering a lot of you guys are actually students of the Arcanium, we'll just hand them over for free once you run out, all right? Oh, thank no you. No worries, no worries, my friend. Oh, by the way, man, I'm part of the Arcanium now. Oh, nice. Uh, oh. Oh, so I learned that spell you were talking about now. I can uh, show it to you if you want. Uh, give you the spellbook, I mean. Anyway, shall we uh, get on the ship and uh, travel towards Eben? I guess. Or whatever. Okay. I don't remember what, what uh, spell you're talking about. Well, but... well, one minute. Nah, I mean, nah. The spell now. Nah. Still going someplace? What? So going someplace? Yeah, we're getting on the ship so we can probably go to heaven. Hmm. Keep going there. Hold on. I mean, the the Vladimir Smirnoff thing that's on the way to the main quest anyway. We'd have to go by there regardless. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not sure if you remember if you made any notes, but Vladimir Smirnov said that he could lead you guys to the entrance to the deeps where he uh, says he could use your help in regaining the throne and uh, as well as guide you guys around and provide protection while you guys search for that thing. Yes. Okay. Can I um, <clears throat> quickly go find before we leave? Uh a uh, leather worker or just someone who sells a skin or a leather or something like that you find whatever you try to put on that exactly pig. that whatever uh, you try to put on that pig it's gonna it's gonna fucking i'm gonna cast burn. dispel magic on the freaking thing don't worry 
What? What? Uh, fuck is dispel magic one, gonna do against an ongoing fire? It's, it's really not oh. gonna do anything. Okay, well, I'll figure something out. I'll just buy some leather. Like, uh... Um... You, you buy some leather. Mm -hmm. Ryan, I'm gonna scream really angrily at the thing that Juna just tried to dispel. Okay. I didn't try, was... try to dispel anything yet. I didn't try to. I've got it. your backpack. Don't worry about it. God damn it. I guess I while uh, Darky's buying leather, I take Minard with me to show him around the engine room because I'm pretty sure we're the only two wizards that can actually do shit with the engine room so far. I mean, I, I, I have level two spells. Whatever needs to happen. Well, you're still I'm a wizard. So. Well, whatever. You're still a wizard. Yeah. I can, I can, I can hit in the engine room. It's better to have two people who knows how to handle the engine than just one guy that might uh, disappear somewhere sometime or some bullshit like that. You know? Oh. Alright. I teach Maynard about the engine shit. There's your flaming pig. Yeah, but I, I didn't... <laughs> Except he's got a saddle on his back. It looks pretty tight. So is the pig bipedal? No. That was... Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna ask so Lily to uh to make little okay. shoes for the piggy. Alright. Uh boss, what would you like to do? Sorry? What would you like to do, Buzz? Oh, right on. Mm-hmm. going on i mean people are getting ready to get on board i guess oh yeah i, I completely missed that uh <coughs> okay mm, maybe you, you see them problem. getting on board just out of curiosity i'll go with him that's so nice of you um, is there anything anyone else wants to do before you get on board of the ship, then? No, hold on. I do, actually. Um, I uh, leave the three ships with the blacksmiths. The three what? Dark, Dark iron, iron ingot. Dark iron ingot, okay. Wait. <clears throat> okay, you, you do you so. Want... Sorry, go so... Don't you want to check up on the sword, Maynard? What sword? They are leaving. You know, the sword that murders uh, the uh, race in the meat the mountain. The dwarf. <laughs> I mean, we, we, could go, we could go check that, but that would be an endeavor unto itself. Um, actually, now that you mention it, before you guys went up the mountain, there were still quite uh, a few earthquakes happening, or small earthquakes happening, uh, pretty much all day around. And um, after a while, after a few days after that, it started to get less and less. They're still happening, but very much less so. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a pretty sight. I guess while uh, I'm teaching Maynard about the engine, I casually ask him if he knows anything about the deep and its gems. About the the what gems? The deep. The gems the of deep? the deep. Oh, yes. Um, no, I I know Crush was fed one, and that was it. The, and then he goes, "Who the fuck is not... Crush?" <laughs> Crush is a dragon turtle. Sarah's probably told you about it. Uh. <clears throat> um. We, we found a baby dragon turtle egg. Or rather, we sort of kidnapped it because... Uh, oh, no, no. What he means to say is we killed his mom, but we never told him about it. Yeah, sure that. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, Corvus, the, the, the idiot that died, uh, <clears throat> basically tried to raise it as its mother, and Cirith had a gem she fed to it. And it made it huge. When it evolved. Yeah, it, it uh, evolved. This might be metagaming, but 
Uh, you know that the book that you got from Forvers is titled like something along the lines of. Uh, oh my God! Are you still all about the bloody book? Yes, because it. Yeah, because unlike you, we plot. can read. Also, it's critical so, to the plot because the book. Yeah, Maynard, when he uh, uh, when he when he asks you about the gems of the deep, you you're, you might. I mean, you think that you might find something, that book that you got from Corvus. Yeah, yeah I, I I grab the books I got from Corvus. I just look them over. And I'm just like, uh, one of these might have something. <laughs> I uh, and, and thus the book finds his way back to the original player. <laughs> I uh, I pick up the book that says the deep. Maybe it's this one. Oh yeah, sure. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna be honest. I, I don't really. <laughs> uh, would you, would you mind if I uh, have this book? This one's really rare and old. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. What I, continue I, teach, I continue teaching him about the engine and tell him that if you shock the fuel cells, it'll accelerate the ship faster. Will it explode? Uh, I didn't ask, but apparently no, not. No, well, do you actually tell him to shock the fuel cells? No, I just tell him about it. Saying like that I, just... I could to increase yeah. the speed of the ship. Right, yeah. okay, sure. But since I know Greasebeard, I, I don't want to do that. Uh, I, mean... I did ask him if he would suggest that we do it, but he said no, so I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt, I guess. Want to try it? Uh, no. You hear the words of Greasebeard in your mind. Been thoroughly tested. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I don't trust anything Greasebeard makes. As as far as I can try, like there's always something wrong with what he makes. And I pull out the fucking ever freezing torch. Uh. <laughs> Please be careful, we're in the engine room. Okay. I don't want to die in yeah. an engine room. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> anyway, and I put also, that back I in. mean, you should paste a tiny saddle on his back and it'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do it later. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I uh, put the torch back into the small bag of holding and then back into my bags. Alright, you do so. Uh, since we are done with the engine teaching thing, would you like to learn how to uh, cast knock? I learned it from your school. Uh, the oh, tower. knock? Yes, would you like to learn it? I'm I can fairly give you sure I order. actually already have a book that has knock in it. I just need to take the time to learn it. Oh. You want to learn it? <laughs> yeah, you, you, want it. you want some spice? I'll knock you got some good. spice? <laughs> oh no, I have it on a scroll. Ah. Which I can still learn it from. I just need to write it in my fucking yeah. spellbook. I just need to transcribe that. That said, knock will be very useful. Happening on the airship, or Yes. Well, the thing with Maynard and I, at least, because we're in the engine room. Yeah. <laughs> so, I suppose I try to learn that for the rest of the night. That's what a second level spell uh okay after we leave because i'm probably not going to be doing shit for the majority of the time we're in the can you summon right. uh can you summon a demon on the airship or something you can summon a demon whenever he wants well just a normal one to take my mind off things i mean do you want to fight a demon uh, the the pig, by the way, the flaming pig disappears after a while. What? I wanted to no. something else than people touching pigs, I guess. I don't know. Oh, apparently the book is called Garrick's Axum. Also, um, oh, Garrick's Axum spellbook? No, that's the, uh, no, not a spellbook, the book that contains the information about the deep. Oh, right. Yeah, the I'm thing I got. You guys all know, well, most of you anyway, that Garleth Axum was the Mind Flayer you uh, with, uh, you uh, fought in Brindenford. Yeah, Wait, but 
I have is named after a fucking mind player. Oh <laughs> shit. Also, uh, Mac, when your pig disappears, it leaves behind the four little tiny boots that he was wearing. It's fine. I'll pick them up and put them in my uh, bag. They're extremely hot. It's fine. They it's can not, be not hot, hot all they want. But... <clears throat> uh... yeah, you, you made some. You made some tiny boots. It's fine. Oh, you, you want to make leather armor for your wolf? Oh, okay. Sure, you can try. That's, that's okay. And... Um... Brian, mm -hmm. to the captain of the ship, who is it again? Wolfram, I Well, at the moment, the guy at the wheel, anyway, is Wolfram, and he likes to call himself captain. I'm going to Wolfram because he never flew on a ship before. Technically, he flew it right here. Yeah. Uh, he bro, you want me to roll... Before, then. You want me to roll spellcraft for the uh, spell? Yeah, go for okay. it. I guess Lilith makes some armor. <laughs> oh, sweet. I only needed to beat a 17. Yeah, I, oh, helped, cool. I helped the ship, uh, the, the, the crew of the ship. Which is your party. Yeah, it's us. It's just you guys. We are the minimum amount of people needed to fly the ship. Well, technically, you need fewer, but yeah. yeah. Altogether, you guys are more than enough to fly this ship. Okay. Until, until you go into the water, then you might need some extra head. I'm gonna be like Garrus from Mass Effect, just always calibrating the fucking guns or engine. Uh, uh Lidith, you fashion, uh, well, not so much overnight, you start working on, uh, on the armor. It's going to take you a while to actually finish it up. The first check, however, is complete. You got a pretty good idea in mind on how to give your wolf some armor. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that personally, but hey! <laughs> uh, the first step is made. Even if it's one AC, it's still cool. Oh yeah, for sure. Right. Uh, I'd say uh, right when you guys are ready to depart is also a good time to stop for today. Yeah, I was going to say that as well. Um, another thing I want to say though, guys, uh, I'm planning on making uh, Stonehaven Tills a bi-weekly thing. So once every two weeks, uh, I, I, now that I'm also DMing other groups on Saturdays and uh, stuff like that. What? That means I will still DM every week, but I will also have a free day now and then. Uh, at the same time, I feel I could give you guys some more shit, or more interesting shit, if I actually do prepare. Uh, hmm. Another thing that is uh, a factor in this is that while my girlfriend works uh, all, all the days of the weekend, we would like to have some days in the weekend for ourselves as well. That's pretty nice. I don't mind if it's uh, four weeks three now. Uh, I know uh, I know Maynard would like to, to keep a regular weekly thing, uh, but I would like to know everyone's opinion on this. Uh, well, I don't mind I'm either way. I'm fine with it. Okay, uh, uh, that's, that's fine, Corvus. Hold on a minute. It's um, up to you, really. Well, in the end, it will be up to me, but I'm, I do want to know if you guys are okay with it, of course. Your opinion I'm fine with it. Goodbye, Tom's mom. <laughs> Goodbye, Tom's mom. <laughs>